ugly. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it is almost Thanksgiving and I've decided that this week I am going to try to make Thanksgiving treats that I saw on TikTok that I thought were really, really cute. But first things first, I wasn't able to get my hands on every single ingredient that I needed. So in that case, I'm basically just going to have to modify as much as I can. So just bear with me. And I may or may not have bought the wrong white chocolate chips. I bought white baking chips. So I'm worried that they might not melt. Anyways, let's actually just go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see. The first thing I'm going to make is the Oreo turkey. Give me one moment. I'm going to look it up right now because I kind of forgot how it looks. So the Oreo turkey, we basically need Oreos, white chips. And we also need candy corn that I do not have. And also candied eyes that I also don't have and I'm going to replace with white baking chips. For the sticky part, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to melt one of these chocolate melting wafers and just use that as glue. So here is my water. I don't think I need that much for this, so... I'm just gonna plop two in there, three. I actually wanna eat one. Let's see. You can technically pop it in the microwave, which I will do for the later ones, but right now I don't need that many, so. Okay, so this is gluten-free Oreo. So because I don't have candy corn, I'm gonna see if I can replace them with the Reese's. I mean, we can get creative here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually open this up. I'm going to take a little bit of the melted chocolate and place it kind of on one of the edge. Oh my God, I hope this is gonna work. Why are you still orange? Just to make sure it'll stick. Ah, not bad, not bad for a modification. Okay. Now I don't have candied eyes, so I'm gonna use this. Okay, so these are going to be my eyes. I don't know what's the smartest way to do it. Oh, this is gonna look so funky. And then we're actually gonna use one more white chocolate with no dip as the beak. Oh my God, oh my God! Okay, this is actually kind of cute. Isn't it so cute? And it's so easy, little kids can make it. We're gonna set this aside and let everything dry and glue together. Okay, this next thing I'm going to make is actually a cheese and cracker pie. Uh, so the ingredients are very, very simple. I'm not using a squeeze cream or anything, but because I need like a little white dot on the top, I'm just gonna use my baking chips once again. We're going to need cheddar in block form, thin triscuits in triangle form, and some sort of a rectangular cookie. And you can buy like a big cheese block, but I bought the small ones because it's a lot easier for me to cut. This is the Triscuit. My cheese is not big enough. It'll have to do. I don't think I cut it right. Whoops. Yeah, I definitely didn't cut it right. Let me do a second attempt. Bloop. Bloop. So you guys, maybe you might want to get the bigger one because the big blocks are going to be easier. Basically do this. And I'm sorry, there's no corner over here. I don't know what happened. Oh, this is such an odd pie. Like how do people make it look so nice? You know what? I don't have like a glue for the thing. So I'm just going to use this again. <laughs> Oops. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You know what? It was on my pants. I'll eat it. You know what? I don't <laughs> I don't recommend making it the way I'm making it because this is just salty and sweet everywhere. It's supposed to be a little different. I'm just attempting to make it and my pie looks nothing like a pie. This is so ugly. This is supposed to be a cheese and cracker pie and the thing I saw looks like this and this is how mine's turned out. The cracker is way too wide. The other cracker is way too thin. I also don't have the thing and I'm adding stuff to it. It might taste good, I don't know. Anyways, the next thing is going to be, 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 be. I'm actually going to try to make a turkey chocolate strawberry. I'm gonna eat one too. You need strawberries, mini marshmallows, pretzels. This one is seasoned, unfortunately. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna break this in half because this is way too long. We're gonna stab actually half of this. It's about this length. Okay, so with the strawberry, you're gonna stick two toothpicks into there. So you, it's basically just so you can hold it. These pretzels are still too big. It should be half the size. And we're actually gonna cut it diagonally, I think, because these are going to be stuck onto the strawberry. And you're gonna stick this and then this one on the other side. And we are gonna have to let this dry. So this one does take a little bit of time, but it's really, really cute. I hope I'm doing this right. The legs are too long, so I chewed it off. And we're basically going to dip one side of it into the melted chocolate once again. And we're gonna stick it basically right here. I may or may not have to hold it this whole time. Okay, now that it's close to dry, I'm actually just going to dip this thing in there because I think it might work. And I'm actually gonna do this kind of slow because I don't want to ruin it. Aw, this is so cute, you guys, look! Okay, so I've also melted some white chocolate. And what we're gonna do is basically the legs of the turkey, we're just gonna dip into the white chocolate. It's melting my dark chocolate. Okay, not the best looking, but this is how it's looking right now. I would say this is a success-ish. This is so cute, oh my gosh. The last thing I'm going to make, we're actually going to need another pretzel stick and some mini marshmallows and white chocolate and some Rice Krispies. I'm gonna dip this end into it. We're gonna try to create like a bone of a drumstick on here. Anyways, now is the sad time of I need to wait for it to dry. <sighs> I'm trying to make the turkey leg, but then the marshmallows keep falling off of the bone. Okay guys, so as I was trying to get the stick part of the drumstick, I like kept failing because it's like just not drying and it's taking a really long time. And during that time, I kind of figured out another way to make a drumstick without the Rice Krispie. The other way to make it is basically use one toothpick and kind of go through like a corner of the two marshmallows to make the bone. Next step is going to basically be to dip this. And you basically just dip the rest. Oh no, I got it on my... It's an easier way, but you really need to like be careful of getting it on. Dang it, nobody eat this because I licked the spoon like five times. And I'm being very not careful. So if you're careful enough, you can technically like, you know what, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be too heavy to pull up, so. Ta-da! It's kind of an ugly looking drumstick. <laughs> But it's a drumstick, all right. It's ugly, but it works. Yeah, this is the easier way, I would say. Another very useful thing for Rice Krispies is to use it to hold it up. But anyways, I'm actually gonna go check the fridge and see if the other one's ready, because I do want to attempt to make it out of Rice Krispies. Okay, so I think I might have succeeded. Anyways, so the drumstick part is ready, and now I can finally make my... I have a feeling I'm gonna break it, like right about now. Doesn't it look like a chicken drum? And you know what? I'm not even gonna dip this in the chocolate because I can't hold on to the chocolate to let the other chocolate dry because my hand's gonna melt the chocolate as the chocolate dries. Yeah, so this is basically how it's supposed to look. People actually make their own Rice Krispie like with cacao powder so it actually already turns out brown. I bought store-bought ones because I don't know how to make it. Yeah, that's the gist of it. So there's two versions of drumsticks right here. Anyways, these are some of the things that you can make on your own for Thanksgiving um, that will probably attract children if you're gonna have children in your house for Thanksgiving. They can also even make it, and if you don't want like the very sticky, very like messy stuff to work with kids, I would say this turkey one is the best. You actually are supposed to be using candy corn here because I couldn't get candy corn, I decided to use Reese's pieces. You can also use candied eyes for these. This one, I made it very ugly. It's supposed to look a lot better, but I feel like if you guys, I don't know, can eat cheese, no problem, then this would be a fun little thing. Also, because you can also just make a bunch of it and be like, appetizer for everybody, not just for kids, even for adults. This one is really cute if you have the time to make it. Like, just have them prepared. I wouldn't recommend having kids do this if you're gonna have like a big party or anything because it does get very messy. Anything that has chocolate dip is going to be very messy. This one is 
I guess it looks cute now, but it wasn't so fun making it. Yeah, here are some ideas of stuff that you can make for Thanksgiving as treats or as appetizers, whatever you like, but I think they're more like desserts. Anyways, I am all dirty and messy. The table is all dirty and messy. Thank you, Allie, for holding the camera for me. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also wish you a happy Thanksgiving with you and your family and your friends and whoever you're gonna celebrate it with. I will see you in my next video. Bye!